Welcome to Subramani. Uh, I've been making a series of uh, small videos on uh, equity investing. So one of the important things of equity investing is uh, when you have shortlisted companies, uh, you have to then choose between the two, which means you have to compare. Comparison is something which we keep doing all day, right? Whether uh, should we eat this type of food or that type of food? Should we go to the gym? Should we go for a run? Should we do nothing, right? Uh, what are the advantages? So that comparison store should we buy? Uh, is it a good time to be buying shares or is it a good time to be buying bonds? Is it a good time to be buying real estate or is it a good time to be buying equity? Right. So we keep comparing uh, this uh, on a regular basis. But one very important thing is after shortlisting companies, uh, how do you compare? What is the difference between? fundamentals and expectations so uh, two good companies you pick up fundamentals are good right both have good roc good ronw uh, good shareholder returns uh, over the past few years good management right everything is in place uh, then how do you distinguish or how does a good great investor distinguish between the two is by separating the fundamentals from the expectations so based on all this this share is worth buying right first step is already done i'm not yet reached the valuation the next question is is it a good buy at this price will i make money the two are not connected at all only because the company has good fundamentals you have it has come to this stage right it has come to the stage where you want to where you're thinking of buying Let's say you want to make a, uh, you have zeroed in on the pharma industry from uh, top down and within after reaching pharma industry, you have said, okay, uh, Sun Pharma looks good, Lupin good, looks good and Cipla looks good. I'm not even getting into their in different businesses. One is a more uh, US centered, one is less US centered. I'm not getting into all that. I'm saying these three companies you have decided that these three pharma companies you are willing to buy. Now to make a distinction, I mean because of their good fundamentals every this stage. Now the question is at this price, what are my expectations from this? Will it give me 18% return? Will it give me 14% return over the next five years? Right? That question. So separating the two, saying a share is worth buying because the fundamentals are good or a share is worth selling because the fundamentals are bad is not right. Yes, sometimes the fundamentals deteriorate, but when the fundamentals deteriorate, how much has the share price deteriorated? If the share price deterioration is far greater. If the share price deterioration is far greater than the fundamental deterioration, then it is a good time to be buying, right? Exactly how Buffett moved in in the uh, case of Wall Street, uh, I mean, the Wells Fargo and uh, right, all those come when Wall Street was in trouble. So if a company is at this valuation, then there is some bad news and the price falls from here, uh, falls from here to here. But the fundamentals have fallen only so much. This might be a good buying opportunity when something like this happens, right? Uh, for example, if uh, in a listed company you hear some uh, bad incident, the market price falls much, much more than the impact would be on the EPS. That would be a good time to enter in. What has happened is the fundamentals have remained the same, but the expectations for people, for whatever reasons, emotional reasons, they have hammered the price. Now, for you, the expectations from that share is likely to be much better. So the share which was quoting at 100 rupees and you thought it was a good buy at 90 has now suddenly fallen to 70. So at 70, you know the expectations. So the fundamentals have not changed, the expectations have changed. Um, a good example to give is uh, when you go for horse racing and betting, there are say seven horses which are running. You all of them have good fundamentals, right? All of them, uh, but some uh, you realize that this horse, the amount that they are asking you to bet is much less than what it deserves on the basis of your analysis, right? So you put money on that horse, you will make more money than a horse on which everybody is putting money. So if there is a company which is good on which everybody is betting, the chances are your returns will be subdued because you may want 18% return but some FII who is investing may want 12% return or he may want 8% return. 
so he is happy to buy at that price uh, at which the yield is uh, much less than what you want or the expectation is much less fundamentals remain the same so i hope you get the difference between uh, having the good fundamentals and having the right expectation the when we are comparing we have to do one more thing we have to compare and also rank sometimes you may not be able to compare so well as you may be able to rank that is very important unless of course you are doing arbitrage and you are only interested in the price of sun pharma saying oh it is at a variance to the three month price is better than today so let me buy three months uh, three month call option and sell today right so you might do that I'm not getting into whether that is right or wrong, but that you might do that. But normally, you need to know whether over the next five years, whether uh, Cipla is better than Lupin or Lupin is better than Sun Pharma. All right, so you have to make that choice after having zeroed in on the industry. So zeroing in on the industry is tough, and then zeroing in on the company is even more difficult. Which is what, uh, which is why not all of us are able to make money in all our transactions because. Sometimes we don't go through such a rigorous process. We just say, "Oh, this looks good. This looks good." Last time I made money. Uh, last time I sold when it was eleven fifty. So today it is. It must be a good buy, good share to buy at nine fifty for, let's say, Sun Pharma. Uh, so this is again little bit of arbitrariness will definitely come in because uh, that that's how we operate, right? So comparing uh, is not going to be very easy and. Uh, also one more problem is sometimes your past uh, sits very heavily on your head so when state bank of india says all our uh, mistakes of the past have been buried we don't have any npa one very important question to ask is is this churn around better than the last time's churn around because everybody who comes says oh now the balance sheet is very clean then suddenly after 3 years you find some 13000 crores or 14000 crores of npas have got built because something is wrong with the process so the question is uh, how do you decide whether this churn around is better than the other turn around in fact i think one of the main reasons why most fund managers miss the psu bus is psus have largely Uh, destroyed a lot of value over long periods of time so when you find that the companies have actually destroyed value over 5 years you don't want to take a one year bet hoping that it will make money and that is exactly what happened last year one year uh, all psus uh, including psu banks etc have made lot of money um, bhl moved from 25 to 90 but remember it is the same bhl which had moved from uh, 300 plus in 2007 to 25 rupees in 2020 right that is the kind of dramatic value destruction that it had done so the question is is this turn around better than the previous turn around should i trust the turn around at all these are not very easy questions for you to answer so these all these things make uh, the make the distinction between a good investor and a great investor so when you want to be a great investor you need to concentrate on all these things thank you one very important uh, thing while uh, investing is to think in terms of probability what is the probability that this uh, share will uh, do well also what is the range of prices in which i have to buy this is what actually uh, gets my goat when i see research reports say buy at 765 or something like that i can never ever come to such a precise valuation at which it is worth buying so for me the range of uh, buying uh, prices for say sun pharma would be anything from 850 to 1000 it is never 857 or 912 or something like that it is a range of values because the range of values and the range of probability of something happening right so you loaded yourself on pharma and suddenly there is some covid uh, breakout in china you will get a 5 10% uh, kick up immediately on your buying you you had no such uh, knowledge you had no such uh, thing uh, th- saying that if covid comes again this prices will go up you didn't know but you bought it something hit and the prices went up 10% it may actually now it will bring you to uh, fundamentals versus expectation now is it worth uh, holding on because is there any expectation after this 10% jump maybe you were expecting only 10% jump over the next 6 months and you got it in the next 6 days so that would be a so you have to work on one very important thing called probability which we studied in school uh, 
uh, it is very important to know how that probability works for both the range of prices which you are buying and the range of outcomes where you know things could go wrong if things go wrong what do i do do i have to have a stop loss or do i go and revisit my fundamentals and say no no i don't think uh, sun pharma has any problem so even though i bought it at 982 rupees i don't mind averaging at uh, 882 rupees because i think the fundamentals are good and my expectation from 982 was good so my expectation from 882 can only be better remember fundamentals have not changed it's only the price is uh, that has changed for whatever reasons people say oh uh, they have this problem in the us there's the fda letter or there is the uh, uh, covid vaccines have stopped so they were making money in covid vaccines i'm not just uh, talking about uh, sun pharma i'm just talking generally about any pharma all those things happen the fundamentals remain the same but your expectations are changing please understand the difference and work on both of them on a probability basis saying i will buy in this range and i will sell in this range therefore in my buying i constantly keep buying so i may have bought uh, say indigo at the best price of 790 or uh, 796 just